Abram, a man descended from Noah, is instructed by God to travel from his home in Mesopotamia to the land of Canaan. There, God makes a promise to Abram, promising that his descendants shall be as numerous as the stars, but that people will suffer oppression in a foreign land for 400 years after which they will inherit the land from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates. Abram's name is changed to Abraham and that of his wife Sarai to Sarah, meaning princess. And God says that all males should be circumcised as a sign of his promise to Abraham. Due to her old age, Sarah tells Abraham to take her Egyptian handmaiden, Hagar as a second wife, to bear a child. Through Hagar, Abraham fathers Ishmael. God then plans to destroy the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah for the sins of their people. Abraham protests but fails to get God to agree not to destroy the cities. His reasoning being that everybody there is evil. Except for Abraham's nephew Lot. Angels save Abraham's nephew Lot who was living there at the same time, and his family. But his wife looks back on the destruction, even though God commanded not to, and turns into a pillar of salt for going against his word. Lot's daughters, concerned that they are fugitives who will never find husbands, get Lot drunk so they can become pregnant by him, and give birth to the ancestors of the Moabites and Ammonites. Abraham and Sarah go to the Philistine town of Jerah, pretending to be brother and sister. They are half-siblings. The king of Jerah takes Sarah for his wife, but God warns him to return her, as she is really Abraham's wife, and he obeys. God sends Sarah a son and tells her she should name him Isaac. Through him will be the establishment of the covenant. Promise. Sarah then drives Ishmael and his mother Hagar out into the wilderness. Because Ishmael is not her real son and Hagar is a slave. But God saves them and promises to make Ishmael a great nation. Then, God tests Abraham by demanding that he sacrifice Isaac. As Abraham is about to lay the knife upon his son, God restrains him, promising him again innumerable descendants. On the death of Sarah, Abraham purchases Machpelah, believed to be modern Hebron, for a family tomb and sends his servant to Mesopotamia to find among his relations a wife for Isaac. After proving herself worthy, Rebekah becomes Isaac's betrothed, Keturah, Abraham's other wife, births more children, among whose descendants are the Midianites. Abraham dies at a prosperous old age and his family lays him to rest in Hebron. Machpelah. Quote. Isaac's wife Rebekah gives birth to the twins Esau. Meaning. Velvet. Father of the Edomites. And Jacob. Meaning. Supplanter. Or. Follower. Esau was a couple of seconds older as he had come out of the womb first. And was going to become the heir. However. Through carelessness, he sold his birthright to Jacob for a bowl of stew. His mother, Rebekah, ensures Jacob rightly gains his father's blessing as the firstborn son and inheritor. At 77 years of age, Jacob leaves his parents and later seeks a wife and meets Rachel at a well. He goes to her father, his uncle where he works for a total of 14 years to earn his wives. Rachel and Leah. Jacob's name is changed to Israel. And by his wives and their handmaidens he has 12 sons. The ancestors of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And a daughter. Dinah. Joseph. Jacob's favorite son of the 12. Makes his brothers jealous especially because of special gifts Jacob gave him. And because of that jealousy they sell Joseph into slavery in Egypt. Joseph endures many trials including being innocently sentenced to jail but he stays faithful to God. After several years, 
He prospers there after the pharaoh of Egypt asks him to interpret a dream he had about an upcoming famine, which Joseph does through God. He is then made second in command of Egypt by the grateful pharaoh. And later on, he is reunited with his father and brothers, who fail to recognize him and plead for food as the famine had reached Canaan as well. After much manipulation to see if they still hate him, Joseph reveals himself, forgives them for their actions, and lets them and their households into Egypt, where Pharaoh assigns to them the land of Goshen. Jacob calls his sons to his bedside and reveals their future before he dies. Joseph lives to old age and tells his brothers before his death that if God leads them out of the country, then they should take his bones with them.